Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Grey Alien Games, and I'm going to do a programming video in Pico 8 on my sort of hobby game Cyber Jam. Okay, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I'm actually not that familiar with the code anymore, but let's see how, how we get on. So what I want to do is, uh, the main player sprite has a sort of pea shooter bullet here, which isn't particularly impressive, but it's your starting weapon. And what I want to do is allow the player to pick up power-ups to give various different kinds. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a sort of sort of fat bullet. So we're going to use the built-in sprite editor over here. This is the original bullet. I'm just going to copy that across here and then I'm going to sort of make it fatter. I'm going to give it a curved ending because that will look better than just a sort of straight line. And um, I'm going to make it a bit longer and give it a sort of curved back. Now we need to just test that on the player. So let's look up the tab for the player bullets. If I uh, scroll down a bit, we should find a make bullet bit of code. So I'm going to change sprite number nine, which is this one, to 10 just to test this out. Okay. So 10. Whoops, that didn't work. 10. Okay, run. So yeah, there we go. Larger bullet sprite. Um, the only thing is it's not doing sort of any larger collision detection or bullet power. So we need to do those sort of things as well. Um, okay. So that's 10, right? But what we need to do is because we want different types of power ups, I'm going to go to the player class at the top, make player and find um, somewhere to put in a new uh, field on the player class. So field means member variable or whatever you prefer to call it. So I'm going to call this power up type and I'll, I'll call it zero at first. Now, um, Let's go back down to make bullet. I've copied that into the, the memory, make bullet. Okay, so instead of make sprite 10, I'm gonna do some sort of hacky code here. I'm gonna say if um, player dot, I could put, probably do a case statement. I can't even remember the syntax in, so it's select? Yeah, select. Okay, let's try this. Select um, player dot power up type. I think maybe you have to put end, end select. No, just end. Okay, and then case, is it? I don't know. I'm gonna search <laughs> to see if I've used this already, this format. I actually can't remember. Um, if screen, oh, this is just a load of else ifs, so that's not great. Um, let's just have a look, select. Does that work? Nothing there probably should have uh, refreshed myself on the syntax. No, I haven't used one there. Okay, this is weird. I haven't used select anywhere. Um, what's the F3 search next? No, ooh, that's not what I want. Control F again. Um, okay, maybe I've not used it. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I've just used if statements. Well, I don't know, maybe that will work fine. If player power up type equals, uh, I think we need a double equals like in C++ and C sharp is zero, um, then we're gonna do, I need this local outside the statement. Let's just put that above. Okay. Then we're going to make a sprite and that sprite will be sprite number nine, that's the default one. I can't remember what this number two means on the end. Probably should go and check that. Might just mean which list it gets added to. I think I've got different lists for different sprites and number two is um, bullet list. Let's go and check that. I've got a sprite class here. Draw sprite, make sprite, table, yeah. Table ID, okay. So that's fine, that one. Let's do, I really ought to look up this, the select syntax later on. Else if, let's do another proper if because rather than just an else, um, because we're gonna have more power ups later. Power up type is one, then do 10. 
okay uh, this code here I don't think needs to change this just points it the right way yeah fine let's run that so oh he didn't like that what doesn't it like um, line in make bullet line 58 tab 3 this is line 58 what's the matter with that so local B it should say here B equals I deleted that so locally is a local variable B which I'm gonna make a sprite and attach to B and then here down it, it decides if it wants to flip it around depending on which way the player is facing and, and positions it as well so let's run okay so we've got the P shooter now if I go to the top of the player class and find power up type and put in one we've now got a fatter bullet which is great um, still need to adjust uh, collision detection for that um, to, to, to have several points of collision but what I want to do now is um, I've got to keep an eye on the time believe it or not because I'm going out to buy a curry in a minute okay okay curry for lunch yes curry for lunch so um, what we want to do is add in a power up that you can pick up I'm not sure where to put those I might put them here on the um, enemies tab actually um, or no player uh, yeah I'll put them on the enemies tab so I'm just going to make one really simply um, just anything at the moment okay which we will refine later um, what sprite number is that um, 111 okay so I want to just check actually I'm going to save this I, I'm going to go and look at another project in which I did power-ups or pickups at least just to see how I did that because I used a similar code base and I think what I did was made them sort of friendly enemies that you can pick up so it could share similar code so before I load the other thing up I'm going to save and I use control s it should say save down at the bottom now the cool thing about Pico 8 is it does make backups so if you forget to save you can go back to a previous backup that it saves for you and that has saved my bacon more than once though I sort of wish it would honestly if you tried to load something else just say oh you've got unsaved changes do you wish to change them save them that might be better so let's load up the other project load LD 48 this is for Ludum Dare and this is my where's my computer gone now in this game um, there's a, a pickup basically there that bing and instead of it being an enemy that injures you it's obviously got a particle effect and then it changes a number at the top of the screen so I'm going to go and see how I coded that in in this code um, enemies I'm gonna look for the word pickup is that in there no chip chip is okay so this is making an enemy setting up an animation for this chip sprite okay fine um, probably need to search for ID 64 see what else I did read enemy data yeah that's just creating the enemies at the beginning of the room um, let's have another look I can't remember if it's control uh, G to search again yes it is so there's only two of them that's odd okay um, maybe I'll search for the word chip again nope nothing okay alright so I probably put it in player collision so I'm definitely creating them as enemies I'm just going to scroll down and look for some collision code you're a bit limited by this IDE obviously you've got a huge amount of what well, sorry huge font on the screen so you can't see a lot of code at once um, walk animation shooting move bullets keep going up bullets versus enemies we're getting to the collision stuff player versus enemies okay here we go it tests and then it does a thing called collide player which I'm sure I've got in the other thing collide player here we go oh it just says if it's in if it's type 64 which is the chip increase the chips um, make a sparkle effect that's it delete the enemy um, so it's not really doing same with keys as well look it's not doing anything special um, 
Yeah, that's okay. Fine. So I'm going to go back to CyberJam. Load CyberJam. Uh, oh. Okay. Just check we've got that. Good. So what sprite number was that? That was 111 for now. Actually, to be honest, I'm going to have several power-ups. I'm going to copy this to sort of here, 104, because I'm going to, I can see there being a range of them, like 104, 105, 106, and so on. Um, let's go to find the code. So in the other bit of code, when I was creating the enemies, I was creating an animation, and I might do that later with the power-ups, like make them bob up and down. But for now, I don't really care about that. I'm going to add it to the map. Um, let's just go in the map editor here's the power up I'll just put it there that's fine let's just run the game right okay so it's definitely set up as an enemy at the moment that might be due to the various flags I've got because for these enemies um, like missiles if I go into the sprite editor you can set various flags here okay um, I can't even remember what they mean but I can probably infer it. So these ones are invincible. Okay. So the second flag means they're destructible. All right. Well, we don't want the player to be able to shoot the power up. So we leave that one off. In fact, let's try that. Let's do a test. Yeah. You can't shoot it. Fine. And what does the first flag mean? First flag means, I think it means it's solid, which we don't want because we want the player to be able to move over it. I mean, if I set that, let's run. You can sit on it now. So, okay. So I am going to have to adjust the code a little bit because every time it, you hit something it thinks is an enemy, you know, you blow up. Maybe I need another flag, um, this third one for pickup. That would be fine. So, Let's look at the collision code. It was in the player. It says player and bullets, but it's got a collision code. I'm going to go to the, the bottom of the code and go up from there. Um, kill player. Here we go. Player versus enemies. Uh, okay. Changes the hitbox. All enemies. So that sprite we've added will get added to the enemy list. Check it's not solid before collision. Okay. All right, and then it tries to, it just kills the player. So this is where we need to adjust the code. Should it be destroyed? Enemy explode. Okay, let's let's do something else here. So um, this is the function for looking at flags. So if f get um, enemy ID flag number two is zero based flag. So 0, 1, 2 is false. No, we want to say if it's true. Probably don't need the equals equals true. It probably just work without that. But I like to sometimes leave things in for clarity. Uh, then we need to do something else. Um, treat enemy. Yeah, let's do um, a new function. Collect pickup else do the normal enemy stuff which this one needs to be tabbed in shift uh, if you highlight it with shift and press tab it will move the group in so if i run this nothing uh, it will crash when i go on it because there won't be a collect pickup function yeah that's fine um yeah if i uh, find some enemies they should still you know work as enemies yeah okay so the code is fine so collect pickup um, where should we put that let's do it above kill player function collect pickup end function oh I always put that you just need end so we need to test the we ought to really pass that in because we don't know what we're testing here. So collect pickup E is the variable for the enemy slash pickup. So I can say if 
e dot id equals well, I think it was 104 104 then do something right what we will do is uh, player dot power up type equals one so it's going to change from zero to one I need to go back to the top and default back to zero okay let's go down here again yeah at the moment the power up is going to probably still be there and I need to make it disappear but I'll do that in a moment let's see if this works so hmm, didn't like that attempt to index global e a nil value huh I didn't pass it in is that right let's try yeah and then look it works okay so now I am going to make that power up disappear and looks so like up here we've got some code called enemy explode and I'm going to sort of copy copy that but but not make it explode make it disappear with some sparkles that's probably in this tab enemy explode if I did not misspell that enemy X no okay is it here enemy nope maybe it's still here let's copy that okay um where is it no this is confusing me I'm not finding it in the code um this is odd why am I not finding that I'm looking for this function so I can go and you know copy it oh I don't know what was going on there right okay enemy explode I guess seeing as power-ups are enemies of sort I'm going to yeah I'm going to copy this car this is a long-winded function and call it um, pick up power up oh what did I call it no I'm going to call it destroy power up or something power God, missing all the keys power up um, destroy okay so it passes in there add score no we don't need any score add score no 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 don't care about that floating text we might want that just to tell you what the power up is um, for now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna put something in here like um, fat bullet this is probably gonna not work uh, will not look very good okay delete enemy yep we want that we want to delete it kill the enemy um right okay so one of those one of those is removing it from the list the table i'm going to look for that delete enemy looks for the enemy data if it finds it it deletes it okay so what does kill enemy do it's nicely ambiguously named uh perhaps try kill uh i think that just gets rid of the basic sprite is that in sprite class kill something in there called kill yeah oh this gets rid of sub sprites and then calls a user related kill function then deletes it from the table so I'm still unsure as to why delete enemy Oh, that just gets rid of the thing and the other thing gets rid of the table okay it looks like I need them both anyway so we'll keep both of them there enemy explosion type oh okay so probably and I need a different sound don't I right didn't power up sound let's quickly do that so what is sound number two yeah that's when an enemy blows up um, 
I can't remember what that's used for. Oh, when you win or lose. That's when you lose. Huh, okay. One of those is for when you beat the game. Uh, this is a test I've got here for... Oh, okay, it plays them both at once. It's a harmony. Um, so we need a new sound for power-ups. Can't believe that's used anywhere. Maybe it is. Okay. Um, gosh, I don't know if I've got the time to make a really decent one at the moment. So... Um, That's horrible. That would do just to get something running. So I'll change that later to make that better. So enemy explosion type. Okay, make various explosions. I want to do, check the particles. I want to see if there's sparkles here. Because in, yeah, here we go. Make sparkle, make sparkles. Fine. Let's go back here. I think all power-ups are going to have the same thing. So we'll just put make sparkles. Uh, I didn't check the parameters. X, Y, scale. Quantity, radius. Oh, okay. I'm going to just load up. I'm going to save this and load up the other game I made. Uh, load. Oh, dear. and look for make sparkles make sparkles here we go no that's make sprite okay make sparkles here we go i've got various parameters there that i know work i'm just being really lazy instead of trying to guess what you know how to make them look good. I hope that stays in the copy paste buffer. Right, go and find the code. Enemy explode power up. Make sparkle. So let's see if it pastes over. It does. Good. Oh, I've accidentally pasted over the sound effect line. Okay. Let's run that. It didn't work. I've got the right power up. Oh, it's because I'm not even calling this yet. So go back to the collision detection code. Where was it? Collect. Right, so change the power up and then for all, no matter what the power up type it is, it's going to destroy it and I'll pass that in. Oh, it didn't look, show sparkles though, did it? It showed some horrible thing. It did say fat bullet. Sort of not really in a... Yeah, I'm not sure I want that. Um, let's just comment that out. I can add that back in if I think that's useful. So the problem is it's using one of these sprites here for the sparkle, which looks rubbish. So I'm going to go and again, copy it from my other game. Load OD48. Let's look at the sprites. OK. Oh. Was it an animated sparkle? Looks like it. I don't know if I can get all three. Hang on, the middle one is just a dot, so that's easy enough to do. I'm going to copy those two, see if this will work. Load Cyber Jam. Um, I'll put them down there for now. It did work. I'm going to copy them where maybe maybe there oops i want to get three in a row so the last one appeared to just be a dot didn't it so i think it was that color and it was just like a dot i think so 26 is the starting sprite. Let's go and look at the code. Make sparkles. 
Okay, make spa cool. 20, all right, so I need to change this to 26. I think this will work. It did. Let's try it again. So it plays a sound and the power up is picked up. Okay. Great, so the game has one power up and now I can add more. So I'm going to stop there for now and go and buy a curry. And next time I'm going to increase the, the hitbox for that bullet, add more power because it only does one damage, so it might as well do two or more damage, and then perhaps actually create some more power-ups. So that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching my Pico 8 Cyberjam programming video. Bye.